Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vincent, and um, I'd like to begin a channel. This is the first video I'll be posting on this channel. And now, the name of this channel, as you see down there, it's called Ponder. Now, what does Ponder mean? Ponder means to think, basically. And what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be having some quotes, most of them mine, some of them from a friend of mine and some other people, which we are going to be elucidating on here. Um, many of you may already know, some people may not know, a lot of you may not know about it yet, but there's already a blog, I have a page on Facebook, which is called The Power of Your Thoughts. And I will go back to that page and then redirect people to the videos. So whatever quotes you see on that page, you can just come to the YouTube channel for an elucidation of that quote. Now, today we're going to be looking at one of my quotes. It's my, one of my favorite quotes because it actually brought um, some kind of argument amongst myself and my mates. And when I thought of it, it um, I don't know what I was thinking about that day, but something struck me and I thought of it. And this is what the quote says. It says that too much love is illusory, but then stupidity and naivete are realities. Too much love is illusory, Stupidity and naivety, however, are realities. Now, some people can be surprised and like saying, really, is this true? Is it impossible to love someone a lot? Um, basically, what I'm trying to say is that it's there's nothing like too much love. Too much love is just an illusion. We rather have things like naivety and stupidity. Those are realities. And now, why do I say too much? There's nothing like too much love. Um, I'm a Christian, so a lot of things I'm the same. They come from a Christian perspective. But then, if we go back to the scriptures, Christ told us that the height of love is to for a man to lay down his life for his friend. Which means that in order to reach the height of love, that is the highest point, the acme, you have to sacrifice your life. Now, looking at it from this perspective, you understand that love has to be selfless. Some people may tell me, oh, but then, you, I'm in a relationship with somebody, I'm giving a hundred percent, I'm being selfless, I'm being honest, truthful, and the other person is not giving me their best. I'm putting in my best, the other person is not giving me their best. So in a way, someone looking at such a relationship from the outside will think that um, actually maybe the guy or the girl loves this other person too much. But in reality, in reality, what that person is actually doing is just showing love. There's nothing like too much love. That is just what love has to be. Love has to be selfless. Love has to be kind. Love has to give in 100%. Anything less than 100%, it is not true love. You understand? That's just why I'm saying that there is nothing like too much love. And if we are looking at what Christ said, giving up one's life, it means that until it comes to the point where you have laid down your life, your friend which Christ himself did for us then there's nothing like too much love if there was something which we could give which was bigger than our lives then of course we can say okay then that in that sense that will be too much love because the life one's life is the greatest gift one can give now how does the stupidity and life come in? as I said let's come back to an example example of two people in a relationship and then let's say it's a toxic relationship as we've heard many times. We know all know what a toxic relationship is. If we don't know, a relationship whereby one person is suppressing the other or one person is maltreating the other or something or one person is benefiting at the, uh, the benefiting over the other at the expense of the other person. For example, you have a guy and a lady, a man and a woman. Maybe this guy brutalizes on the lady often, always, all the time. But yet... The lady is still there. The only thing she can do is to show him love because she loves him. These people are not yet married. For instance, in this scenario, they are not married. And now, people are looking at it. The lady has friends. The guy too has friends. People are looking at it from outside and like, really? What are you doing in such a relationship? You need to, you need to move out, girl. You need to move out. You need to get out of this relationship. But then, um, the girl is like, no, I love this guy. I love this guy. I want to marry him. He's my love. The love of my life and everything. And then, let's say, she goes ahead. She gets to marry him. Logically speaking, any right-thinking human being will be like, oh, if this person is treating me this way before we are even married, maybe we are just engaged. Sometimes we are not even engaged. We are just dating boyfriend and girlfriend. 
and then this person is treating me this way, then I can imagine what I would go through, assuming that we come to a level of permanence. You understand? So any logical thinking, right thinking person would have to move away. If you really love this person, because there's one thing, and it comes back to another quote I once mentioned, that you cannot love the other until you love yourself. If you don't know how to love yourself, you cannot love another person. There's a Latin saying that says that you cannot squeeze me out of the stone, or you cannot, no more that quote not have, non have it. you cannot give what you don't have, sorry, rather. So if you don't have love first, you need to have it, master it, before you can give it. That's, it, that's the one thing. So if you're in such a relationship, and then you decide that, oh, I love this guy, I'd like to get married to him, irrespective of what he's doing to me, then you are just being gullible, I'm sorry, you are just being naive, and I dare say, you are being stupid. I dare say you are being stupid. So, logically, you have to get out of such a relationship. Remaining there, showing the person love, it's good, admirable, in fact, noble. But then, when you are doing it at the detriment of yourself, remember that a relationship involves two people or more people. But at least in this case, we are talking of two people, you understand? So, if you are sacrificing your happiness totally in order to give someone happiness where, whereby the person can only repay you with sadness then it's not logical you're not loving the person you're just being gullible so in this case you don't call this love you just call this stupidity or naivete or gullibility whatever you want to call it so then you have to live now that's why i am saying love itself in itself love is very pragmatic especially in the society we have today it doesn't mean being senseless. It doesn't just mean doing, like, just being a fool all the time. No, there are some times, of course, in a relationship, someone has to be subservient to certain things. But then it doesn't mean that you have to be very stupid. You have to become a fool. No, you have to be practical. You have to, in everything we do today, we have to be practical. So, based on this, I believe that um, we come to understand that anything which is not practical, it's love, it's not love, but it's naivety. So what I'm trying to say is that, that's what I'm trying to say that, there is nothing like too much love. Everything, what you give out, the sacrifice you're giving, is just the basic demand of love. Of course, you might say, oh, this person is too selfless, this person is sacrificing a lot. Love has to sacrifice, it's normal. Love has to be selfless. Love cannot be selfish. No, love cannot only take. Love gives. So if you're giving, you cannot give too much because just that is the nature of love. And love is God and that's the nature of God. You understand? So it cannot be too much unless there's something higher than your life. Life is the greatest gift you can give. And if giving one's life is the height, is the acme of proof of love, then there's nothing more than life you can give. The only period whereby it can become too much is if there was something greater than your life which you could give. At that point, you could say, well, okay, this person loves this other person too much. So... There's nothing like too much love. Too much love is illusory. Stupidity and naivety, however, are realities. Thank you all for watching and please hit the subscribe button. And please, I'd like to get your comments. I'd like to get um, your criticisms. I'll just hit the like button. If you like them, like them. And so they can encourage us to continue. And if you like to receive such videos, just please, please make sure you comment share this. We want to get your comments because no one knows it all. Thank you very much and have a nice day.